Okay, so in this section, let's talk a little bit more about how we can work with the techniques that we just went over. So I'm going to show you some uh, illustrations that I did over the summer in 2016 uh, for a children's book called Laurie Lake Travels to Paris by the American author Barrett Clemenson Powell. Um, in this uh, in this series of images, basically, I did everything that we just did in uh, the course, but instead of using one photograph, I used a combination of photographs. Normally, I like to work from memory or observation or just use photographs as a reference, but this is a story about a little girl who travels to Paris and she visits some very famous landmarks. And so I didn't want to do these actual locations injustice by portraying them inaccurately or forgetting important details, etc., etc. So uh, for the, this particular book, I felt that it was important to definitely use and incorporate photographs as a base. And then I ended up painting above and below, just like you saw before. So I'm just going to go through some of these. They're not actually in the order that you will find them in the book. They're just actually in alphabetical order as I go through preview here. But um, so, for example, the author would detail exactly what she wanted, uh, right down to the color of the couch, the view out the window, etc. Obviously, I wasn't in Paris to take the photos. So as much as possible, I used royalty free and copyright free images. Or if I wasn't using copyright free images, I obscured and changed the original so much that you would never be able to recognize the original, or I just used it as a reference. So um, I'll show you in depth how I created these, but just know that basically this um, apartment, for example, is from about three different photographs. Um, and then the view out the window is from another photograph, etc. until I got the look and the feel that she was going for. This is just the back cover. This is, uh, from the front cover, hang on. Okay, here's my scroll, scroll bar. Okay, so for example, in the first scene, Laurie Leek is waking up and the author had a very clear picture in her mind of the kind of room that she was waking up in, that it was a blue room, that there was a giant teddy bear in the corner, that her brother Earl was on the wall, etc. So I actually, um, used a photograph of a bedroom. I then had to get another photograph of a brass bed because she had a very particular kind of bed. I found the teddy bear from another photograph. So basically what I did is I created a photo collage. And then once my photo collage was in place, I then proceeded to paint over it like you saw earlier in the course. Uh, the author sent me a picture of her brother, although she sent me a picture of him when he was already I think in his 20s or 30s so she told me okay make him thinner make him younger so that took a little bit of imagination there um, and then for this pose I used a stock image of a little girl waking up and I just made her look like the main character okay this is the cover of the book. So this is an actual photograph that I used from a royalty free site. I then got a stock image of a little girl sitting on a suitcase, but I completely covered her up with the main character because the main character has to look the same from image to image. And she had a orange suitcase. So I turned the suitcase in the photograph into an orange suitcase. Oops. Okay, in this one, uh, the, the main character is doing a victory dance. And so I actually used a picture of a little girl in a similar pose in a bathrobe, but it had to be a pink bathrobe. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using photographs as a base and then I'm making them into my own by changing the details so that they match what the author wants. Okay, anyway, so I won't uh, get into every single one of these, but I'll just kind of scroll through so you get an idea. This one you can really see a little bit more of the photograph that's underneath in the reflection of the windows. But um, so this was a picture of the Cafe de Flore. But then I went in and I was uh, looking for 
a waiter, which I then brought in that was going to be serving them, uh, a man, a very tall man sitting at a table, and a little girl sitting at a table. So these are all from separate photographs, which were then integrated into the final composition. This was actually the first one I did. Move the mouse off of her face. This is the main character waking up her parents in a most uh, unsoothing way. So this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite illustrations, probably because of all the colors um, of the main character and her mother in the market. Okay, so you get the idea, right? Um, this was actually maybe a combination of six or seven images. Um, again, really specific, you know, uh, the main character had to be in this waiter's race. She was carrying uh, orange soda instead of wine, um, getting the, the background right, the spectators right, and getting her pose right. So anyway, um, hopefully this gives you a couple of ideas as to how you can custom create the images that you need from your own photos that you take or from stock photos, royalty-free photos, and others by combining the elements that you need into one cohesive image and then you can paint over. Okay, so in the next lesson, I will open up one of these and I'll just show you all the layers to give you a better idea of uh, what's under the hood. See you in the next lesson.